In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five hanging options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first option comes uh, with a hanging one with a green color. I've put the option one uh, or line. I have put it here as a separator. Then you can add some detailed text. And if you have the icons, you can add the icon here and then I've added the shadow effect. When I click, a second option comes with a different color combination. Then the third option, fourth option, and fifth option. So depending on your requirement, either you can increase or decrease the options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to do this. However, you can do this using the older version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background or you can use any light color background also. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangle. I'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle. Select this one and go to format. Make the height and width as 2.6. Okay, and then you can see the small orange point, just drag it outside. So I'm just going to keep this much curved. Shape outline, no outline. And shape fill, you can give any color of your choice. And then I'm going to give some gradient fill for or a light color or transparent maybe. You can go to the format shape and then give some transparency here. Maybe 20% transparency. And then I'm going to add a hole exactly in the center. For that, go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, click the oval shape, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill, make it white. And the height and width, I'm going to make it as 0.1. Okay, 0.1 only, it's very small. Let me just zoom in. You can see here and exactly place in the center. Here I'm going to select this and this go to merge shape and subtract it. The next step is to add the details here. So go to insert text box. I'm going to type the option number here. Say option number 01. Center align. Make it white. Choose any good font of your choice. I'm choosing Helvetica. Make it bold. Increase the size. Maybe 36. It's okay. And then I'm just going to place it exactly in the center and then I'm going to add one line select the line add one small line by holding the shift key you can get a perfectly straight line and this also I'm going to make it white and then just put it in the center again and then you can add some detailed text go to insert text box you can add detail text here and this also you can center align white font reduce the size and place it here and if you're using the latest version of PowerPoint you can go to insert and you can add the icons now this is the first thing uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some shadow effect here so for that go to insert shapes select the old shape draw the old shape maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level you can see here maybe 70 percent then go to the effect soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then i'm just going to put it here and maybe i'm going to further increase the size all right and then send this to back all right so now i'm just going to select all those things Press Ctrl G to group it and I'm going to just place it here. This is the first one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to give uh, this much space or if you want you can just reduce it also. Press Ctrl D for 5, right? So I'm selecting the second one, send this to back. Third one, send to back. Fourth, send to back. And fifth, send this to back, all right? Then I'm going to select this one and you can just change the color of your you can see here maybe I'm going to give this color and here I'm going to choose uh, maybe a 
purple then let me just give some orange and the last one I'm going to select blue this is my color selection you can just choose any color of your choice then let me just change this one to two this is three four and this one five all right now once we have done this one what you can do is maybe you can select all and then you can align it properly also okay then let's add a thread here or a rope kind of thing go to insert shapes select a line let me just zoom in a little bit and you can see here i'm just going to add one line let me just go again here you can see here i'm just going to add the line once again all right let me just zoom out and then you can hold the shift key until this one shape outline i'm going to give some gray color you can increase maybe to two points it looks something like this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to place it here and increase the size again duplicate all right you can see here third then this is fourth all right and then i'm going to add one more this is fifth all right so let me just bring it down and then increase the size from the top then again i'm going to select this and the line group it select this and the line you can see here i'm just grouping it one by one again it has come front i'm going to select the second option send to back right third option send to back fourth option send to back and then fifth option also send to back all right now once you have done this one the design is ready now it's time to add some animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane any animation of your choice you can choose maybe i can go to add animation more entrance effect i'm going to select stretch click ok either you want this one or you can make it from top also something like this all right so now with the help of this animation painter i'm going to add the animation to rest of the options one by one you can see here this is for fourth and this is for fifth so with this we have completed our tutorial and you can add more options if you like